Both Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando have highly themed restaurants, but who does it best? That's what we're here to find out. Disney World has four theme parks and Disney Springs, while Universal Orlando has two theme parks and City Walk. Disney's parks each have a unique theme, while Universal's parks are all about the movies. To keep things fair, we're going to compare apples to apples. We are going to compare Disney World's most themed restaurant in its shopping district, T-Rex Cafe, to Universal Orlando's most themed restaurant in its shopping district, Margaritaville. Our criteria, interior design, ambiance, service, quality of food, and value for money. Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, let the show begin. Interior design is the art or practice of planning and supervising the design and execution of architectural interiors and their furnishing. It's like playing real life Tetris with furniture and wallpaper. It's where you take a blank space and turn it into a penetrance board come to life. Except you have to actually make sure people can walk through the room without tripping over a strategically placed ottoman. Imagine being the puppet master where every cushion, lamp, and tiny decorative cactus goes, while also pretending you're not slowly losing your mind trying to match paint samples to the exact shade of moody sunset. It's the skill of making sure that the space doesn't just look good in a staged Instagram photo, but also doesn't fall apart when people actually eat in it. It's a mix of creativity, spatial awareness, and a healthy dose of caffeine to survive the chaos. Best in interior design. T-Rex Cafe isn't just a restaurant. It's like stepping into a Jurassic Park fever dream, minus the actual risk of getting eaten. Walking in, you're immediately hit with a rush of nostalgia and excitement as life-size animatronic dinosaurs greet you. We lucked out with seats right next to a towering Triceratops, which honestly is the dream. This place isn't just about food. It's got woolly mammoths, simulated meteor showers, and an octopus bar that's so cool it almost makes you forget you're here for a meal. The cafe is divided into different themed rooms, each with its own vibe and attractions, which is genius because it makes you want to come back just to see what you missed. Each room offers a unique, over-the-top experience, and I'd be thrilled to dine in any one of them. At Margaritaville, guests can choose to dine in the main dining room, decked out with themes from one of Jimmy Buffett's favorite South Florida concerts, or outside on the whimsically named Porch of Indecision. The whole place is like a Caribbean beach resort, with booths that look like deep sea fishing boats and tropical maps plastered on the tables and the ceilings. Just when you think it can't get any better, a volcano erupts ever so often while Buffett's volcano song blares on a giant screen. And if that's not enough, oversized set pieces like a full-size sailboat and a giant margarita blender make the atmosphere so fun and immersive you'll forget you're not actually on a beach. And the winner for Shopping District Restaurant Interior Design goes to Disney Springs T-Rex Cafe. Margaritaville is beautiful and the volcano effect is amazing but it does not beat animatronic dinosaurs. Ambiance. It's that intangible vibe you get when you walk into a room and just know it's haunted by the ghost of someone who really liked floral wallpaper. It's the way a dimly lit cafe with mismatched chairs and the faint smell of coffee makes you feel like you're in an indie film about to have a life-changing conversation. It's the cozy warmth of a bookstore where every corner whispers secrets of forgotten tales. Or the eerie stillness of a foggy forest that makes you half expect to see a mystical creature peeking through the trees. Ambience isn't just a decoration or a background noise. It's the soul of a place, wrapping around you like a comforting, or sometimes creepy, hug. T-Rex Cafe is like stepping into a prehistoric hallucination. And honestly, it's kinda awesome. Sure, the place is loud, 
But come on, what did you expect from a restaurant that has animatronic dinosaurs roaring every few minutes? The atmosphere is 100% the star here, and it's what makes or breaks the experience. I was already having a blast before my food even arrived. The moment you walk in, you're hit with this wave of dinosaurs, flashing lights, and the constant buzz of families and kids geeking out. If you've got little ones or just a soft spot for dinosaurs, this place is a must visit. It's like a theme park disguised as a restaurant, and honestly, who doesn't want that? Dining at Margaritaville feels like getting whisked away to a beachside paradise, all while Jimmy Buffett jams on the restaurant-wide PA system. Imagine kicking back, sipping on something tropical, and being totally immersed in that laid-back Caribbean vibe. The place is decked out with island decor, and the kind of sunset colors that makes you think, yeah, I am totally on vacation right now. This isn't just a restaurant, it's like stepping into one of Jimmy Buffett's songs. The whole venue perfectly captures that easygoing spirit he was known for. With his greatest hits playing in the background, it's impossible not to feel like you're living out some carefree beachy fantasy. So, if you're looking to escape reality for a bit and soak up some island vibes, Margaritaville is your go-to spot. And the winner is Disney Springs T-Rex Cafe. Yes, it's loud and filled with kids, but where else are you going to get this kind of exciting, over-the-top fun? Margaritaville has that great laid-back vibe, but I live on the Gulf Coast, so I can get that anywhere. Well, not the volcano, but you get the idea. T-Rex Cafe, though, is a whole different level. It's like stepping into a prehistoric wonderland with animatronic dinosaurs, meteor showers, and a constant sense of adventure. So while Margaritaville is a nice escape, T-Rex Cafe is the ultimate winner for sheer, unadulterated fun. The atmosphere alone is worth it, making it a must visit for anyone looking for a unique dining experience. A good restaurant gets it. Your experience doesn't start when you take your first bite of food. It starts the moment you even think about going there. From the first click on their website to the friendly voice on the phone taking your reservation, they're setting the stage. It's like they know that a smooth, pleasant pre-dining experience means you'll be more forgiving if the food's a little late or if they're out of your favorite dessert. They're crafting the narrative making sure you're already halfway in love with the place before you even walk through the door. At T-Rex Cafe, I walked up to the check-in station and was greeted warmly and asked if I was part of the Landry Select Club, which I was. This turned what would have been an hour wait into a 20-minute wait. I was sent two text messages in that 20 minutes. The first to say I was officially checked in and the second was to tell me it was time to be seated. This was all very streamlined and effective. At Margaritaville, I arrived an hour ahead of my scheduled reservation and asked if there was a possibility I could be seated. The friendly receptionist checked my information and since the restaurant wasn't at capacity, seated me right away. This really made the rest of my day go much smoother. The toughest challenge for any business is getting customers to give their product a shot in the first place. But seriously, once they got you in the door, they shouldn't just drop the ball and forget about keeping you around. It's like, congrats, you got me to try your weird kombucha flavored ice cream, but now you have to make me want to come back for more. Don't blow it by not giving me a reason to return, whether that's great customer service, loyalty rewards, or just consistently good experiences. The T-Rex Cafe is part of the Landry Select Club which is Landry's way of rewarding their loyal guest. When I originally signed up, I was automatically entitled to receive all the benefits associated with program membership. There was a one-time non-refundable $25 membership fee, but there isn't an annual fee, and I also received a $25 welcome reward for joining the Landry Select Club. It pays for itself the very first time you use it. I just present my card at any of the over 600 plus participating locations. And if I don't have my card on me, I simply give my server my phone number I used when I registered and I get all the select club benefits and savings. Talk about ensuring customer loyalty. I use it all the time. 
Margaritaville has the Fins Up Club. There is no cost to join, and I am the first to get inside tips and information about Margaritaville. I receive a special offer to celebrate my birthday, news about upcoming events, and promotions, and invitations to Fins Up Club event. It's not Landry's Select Zone, but it does build customer loyalty, I guess. Look, a business can train someone to do a great job, right? You can teach someone to make the perfect latte or give a flawless presentation on the latest, greatest widget. But here's the thing. You can't just wave a magic wand and make someone have an awesome personality. You either have that natural warmth and friendliness or you don't. It's like trying to teach a cat to fetch. Sure, maybe it will work out, but most likely they're just going to stare at you. So, when it comes to the service industry, having that bubbly sunny disposition Total game changer. Customers love it. The team vibes with it, and it just makes everything run smoother. It's the secret sauce that turns a good company into a great one. At the T-Rex Cafe, our waiter was generally friendly, very polite, and made us feel welcome from the very start. At Margaritaville, our attentive waitress Kelly ensured we never had to wait for refills, bringing us backup drinks just when we needed them the most. The level of laid-back professionalism and the seamless efficiency was a testament to the importance Margaritaville places on customer service. All right, so all good servers know their menu, inside and out. It's like their own personal superpower. They can tell you every little detail about every dish, like they're reciting lines from their favorite movie. Need to know if the soup has dairy? Bam, they got the answer. Wondering if you can swap the fries with a salad? They're on it, no hesitation. It's not just about memorizing ingredients, it's about understanding the whole experience. They know what pairs well with what, they can recommend the best drinks to go with your meal, and they can steer you away from that one dish that everyone sends back. It's like their menu whispers, guiding you through every dining experience. So yeah, if a server knows their menu like the back of their hands, you know you're in good hands. At T-Rex Cafe, our waiter was knowledgeable and offered to answer any questions that I had. But I had ordered mozzarella sticks and fish and chips, so I already know pretty much all there is to know about those. At Margaritaville, our waitress was equally knowledgeable. But she went one step above and beyond for us. We ordered boneless chicken wings. Kelly brought us backup Cokes before our appetizer had even arrived, and while we still had Coke from our original order. Just because she knew how spicy those chicken wings were going to be, and she knew we would need more to drink after we ate them, and wanted to make sure we never went without. That's great service. Good restaurants know that being busy is no excuse for poor service. It's like, just because you're juggling 10 tables doesn't mean you can drop the ball on customer service. Actually, we often find our best meals and service happening when a restaurant is buzzing with activity. There's this certain energy in the air, like everyone is in the zone, hyper-focused on their immediate tasks. It's like a dance, the servers weaving through tables, the kitchen pumping out dishes, and everyone working in perfect harmony. When a restaurant is packed, it forces everyone to be on their A-game. No time for slacking off. So yeah, being busy isn't a free pass for poor service. If anything, it should be when a restaurant shines the brightest. A good restaurant totally gets that there's nothing more disheartening than a customer paying their bill than doing that awkward walk to the door without a single staff member ever glancing their way. I mean, you just had this whole dining experience there, and then it's like you're suddenly invisible. It's such a small thing, but it makes a huge difference. A simple, thank you for coming, or have a great night, as someone heads out can leave a lasting impression. It's like the final bow after a great performance. So a good restaurant knows that acknowledging guests as they leave is just as important as welcoming them in. It's all about those little touches that make people want to come back. At T-Rex Cafe, my waiter thanked me for coming and hoped I would come back soon. 
but I can't remember if anyone else said a word to us as we walked out the door. Though to their credit, it was extremely busy that night. At Margaritaville, I know for sure we were not only thanked by our waitress, but by both the hostess and another waitress at the check-in desk. They even engaged us in friendly conversation about how we liked our meal. They were both very cordial, which will ensure our return. And the winner in the category of best service goes to Margaritaville. I love Landry's Select Club, and our waiter at the T-Rex Cafe was truly amazing. But Kelly was one of the best waitresses I have ever had. And I believe Jimmy Buffett himself would have been very proud that such a person worked at his namesake establishment at Universal City Walk. And that alone made all the difference. All right, buckle up because we're diving into the five senses of food. First up, appearance. It's like the outfit of your meal with colors and combinations that pop. The perfect sizes and shapes of ingredients and just an overall vibe that screams, eat me. Then there's the aroma, which is basically the perfume of your dish, hitting notes from tangy to herby to earthy, basically a symphony for your nose. Taste, it's like the main event, featuring the fantastic five, sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and unami. Each one is a crucial player in this flavor orchestra. Texture and consistency, that's how your food feels, whether it's with your fingers, tongue, or teeth, making sure it's a sensory delight. And don't forget temperature, because serving your food at the right heat level, hot, cold, or room temperature can make or break the whole experience. We started our evening with eight mozzarella sticks. They were fried golden brown and stacked neatly to cover a mound of thinly sliced onion rings. There's parsley sprinkled around the plate to make it look even more appealing. They were hot, gooey, and paired with this tangy marinara sauce that hit just all the right notes. But wait, there's more. Remember those thinly sliced onion rings on the side? I wasn't expecting much, but they were crispy and packed with flavor. Then for the main event, a large filet of golden fried cod nestled on a bed of fries with tartar sauce and coleslaw on the side. Their aroma of perfectly fried food wafted up from the plate, wetting my appetite. The fish was crispy, flaky, and utterly satisfying. It had come out of the kitchen with the perfect temperature, warm, but not hot right out of the fryer with that burn your tongue level of heat. This meal was so filling that the idea of dessert was just a dream. Like one of those dreams where you're flying and then you wake up and you're just not hungry anymore. For appetizers at Margaritaville, we decided to go all in and ordered a plate of six boneless chicken wings drenched in spicy buffalo sauce. And let me tell you, those crunchy, tender white meat wings were so hot, they might as well have been blown out of an exploding volcano. Seriously, I thought my tongue was going to need its own fire extinguisher. But luckily, the Cool Ranch came to the rescue, like a superhero in a condiment bottle. There was also carrots and celery sticks to assist the ranch dressing in case of a forlorn mouth fire. Then for dinner, I went for the iconic cheeseburger in paradise. It had a look of that classic diner burger we had all fallen in love with long ago in our childhood. It came complete just like the Buffett song with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57 and french fried potatoes, a big kosher pickle and a cold draft beer well, good God Almighty, which way do I steer? Well, not to the cold draft beer, but all the rest. As I sunk my teeth into the burger, I could taste the interior of the bun, toasted and adding that perfect crunch before cutting through the tomato, lettuce, and thinly sliced pickle. Before the ultimate sensation of the cheese and burger, tender and juicy, and oh so bad for you, at the same time, it is all so, so tasty. The burger was served at the perfect temperature, warm with the cheese still melty, but the pickle and tomato still had the slightest right from the fridge coolness that makes it so, so good. I think Jimmy Buffett would approve of this cheeseburger. We had a piece of key lime pie, but I'll only show you the picture as to describe it would be unfair to T-Rex Cafe. 
And the winner in the category of quality of food goes to Margaritaville. This was a hard one because both meals were delicious and filling. But since someone has to win, I'm going with the cheeseburger. Next up, value for money. How do you even judge this one? Well, technically, did I get my money's worth at this dinner? I feel like I did at both restaurants. So we will have to compare and contrast. At T-Rex Cafe in Disney Springs, the fish and chips cost me $24.99. Margaritaville also sells fish and chips at $24.99. The Leaky Cauldron at Universal Studios has a fish and chips that run you $17.99. At Disney's Epcot, Yorkshire County Fish Shop has a fish and chips that goes for $13.49. For a baseline, I threw in Bonefish Grill. They have a fish and chips that runs $14.50. So the T-Rex Cafe's fish and chips at $24.99 is on the high end. But it must also be said that Margaritaville's fish and chips are also $24.99. Now, let's look at averages. The average cost of a fish and chips was $19.19. T-Rex's price was $5.80 over the average cost. Now, for the cheeseburger. Margaritaville's cheeseburger with fries will run you $17.95. T-Rex's cheeseburger with fries, $19.99. Burger Digs and Universal's Island of Adventure will run you $20.49. Disney's Sci-Fi Diner in Hollywood Studios, their classic American burger comes in at $23. And Bonefish Grill, they'll sell you a cheeseburger for $13.50. So Margaritaville's signature burger titled after a Jimmy Buffett song, Cheeseburger in Paradise, comes in second cheapest. The only one cheaper, Bonefish Grill at $13.50. So let's look at averages. When we average out the cost of the hamburgers, it comes out to $18.99. That means Margaritaville came in a whole dollar under average. And the winner is in the category of value for money, Margaritaville. Making Margaritaville the overall winner. Congratulations, Margaritaville. Like, share, comment, and follow Gulf Coastal Connections.